I'm here at Winter NAM 2014 with Fabrice Gabriel, the man behind Slate Digital's uh, excellent algorithms. Thank so you. Fabrice is here with his company, EOSIS, and uh, you're showing something slightly different. It's an it's a EQ plugin, but it's not as we know it. So do you want to tell us about it? Well, um, I wanted to bring something new to the equalization world, uh, something uh, you know which goes further and, and um, and beyond the, the Q uh, control. So um, what I, what I uh, did is I invented the, the character parameter. And the character parameter is a new way of adjusting your equalization curve. And I can, uh, you know, when you, you use the character parameter, there is the water curves, which has that very flat top. And at the opposite, there is the fire curve, which is uh, uh, way more focused and, and steep uh, uh, adjustment while uh, staying, remaining very smooth. So uh, th this uh, this innovation allows to manage your resonances of your EQ very easily and very smoothly, and brings new features and new ways of equalizing. And um, uh, we have been working for a very long time on that. It was planned to be released last year, but we had uh, some. We took some time to really make it perfect because we wanted to uh, make a classic here. And uh, we spent a lot of time also on the, on the wonderful analyzer. The, uh, this analyzer shows, you know, is, is, uh, is extremely musical. Uh, it, is, uh, it, it shows really the music. What I love about this, this analyzer is um, you can see the music. For the first time in my life, I've been using analyzer for years. Uh, in my job as an algorithm designer, and for the first time, I, I really enjoy using Analyzer, uh, seeing the music. So, it's not just a plugin, is it? We've got something a little bit interesting a bit further down. Yeah, a absolutely. Some uh, actually, so the, the plugin uh, will sell by itself um, as a plugin uh, in quarter one 2014. And we came up this year with uh, this controller. So the controller uh, connects to the plugin uh, back and forth. It's, it's a two-way communication. And uh, we have that controller with motorized potentiometers, motorized, motorized faders. And um, so the idea behind that compressor, uh, that uh, controller, was I wanted to make something which reproduce the, uh, the analog feeling because so far we uh, have with Slate and with EriQ we have that kind of analog quality sound. We have that in the digital domain. We, you can have plugins which reproduce exactly the analog sound. But uh, I was always frustrated by how you control that sound. And I always missed also the kind of touch that you have with analog. And so that is the idea with this controller to, to uh, bring back the analog feeling of the of the analog pods. So, for instance, here you, with those pods, you have a stop end, you have a middle, and you have also mm. virtual detents uh, in the middle to feel when the the gain is at zero. And and for, to me, that's all that little things which makes that you enjoy uh, uh, mixing, you enjoy uh, using your EQ, and you know, music people, music mixer, producer. It's all about. Uh, music, art, and emotion, and I think that bringing them those cool tools, those um, tools that they will they will enjoy using, will make a difference uh, at the end for music. So, the big question is, how much is this controller going to cost, and when's it going to be shipping? <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh, so far, this is a prototype, and we'll release this prototype for three reasons because. Uh, we wanted uh, people to come on the show and tell us what they think about it, uh, if they would buy it, and, um, and uh, how much they would be ready to pay for it. Uh, and the second thing is also, uh, for people, I think that it's going to be a very uh, useful thing for them to, to uh, put with the AirQ, but not only with the AirQ, we plan to uh, allow other plugin manufacturers to use this controller, and we want that. And uh, the last thing is, for me, that's a kind of luxury uh, product uh, that is uh, going to participate to brand prestige. But we still hope to release that, let's say, at the end of 2014. And it would cost between $1,500 and $2,000. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, we are just looking at what, what people, uh, listening to people, reaction to it. And so far, 
I have to say that they have been very excited because for the first time they you know, they, they have this feeling, the precision of the parts is absolutely awesome. Mm. Uh, you know, it's it's like, it, it, it speaks to them, you know, it's like, it's sexy, it's cool. And at the same time, it's useful. They will be able to put that in their rack. It looks great. And I, I think that for their clients, it's gonna be important too. So it's not only useful, it's it's really enjoyable to, to use and uh, it's gonna be good for the clients. So we hope that we're gonna be able to have that match between how many people, how much, and how much it's going to cost to manufacture. Cool. And just remind us how much the plugin costs again. The plugin is going to be uh, one seven, uh, one seventy nine uh, for the standard version and uh, two fifty nine for uh, the premium version. So the premium version will have the analyzer, and the standard version won't have the analyzer and just uh, switches uh, instead of the uh, the sliders. Okay. Cool. Um, brilliant. Thanks, Fabrice. Thanks. Thanks for showing us it all, and uh, we look forward to giving that a go. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks a, lot. a lot. Cheers. Cheers.